Janae Aiko is an artist that I truly respect. I think she has a a unique voice in music and culture. And um, when I say unique voice, not only is it a singing voice, but her perspective, who she is, what she offers to the world, is something that's very, very special. Like, you know, it's a soul to it. It's a spirit to it. And her thought process, when you look at the things she puts up on Instagram and things she, you know, expresses in music, it's very unique. And, like, I love that about her. So I was very grateful. I wanted to, to team up with her and do a song that was, you know, that was fresh. And we came with this song called Black Magic um, that No ID produced, who he produced the whole album. And, you know, I called it Black Magic because I'm used, to, I say we make something out of nothing, you know, and that's, that's magic. We can create out of nothing, like something. And she just, you know, bounced on the idea and took it to the next level and really just, man, made the song greater than I even imagine and uh, i love you know black magic it's it's also a feel good fun song but it's hard it's rough it's like i don't know it's something special about that song too we just shot the video for diamonds today and that song is is like this album no id made tracks that i never rapped on before in my life the sounds that were hip-hop but sounded like relevant for today but without reaching or without trying you know sometimes i can i can make an album that may sound classic hip-hop you know it, it takes you back sometimes i can make an album that's futuristic like electric circus that takes you way forward this album is really present it's present but it still has the spirit and energy of what we know hip-hop to feel like and sound like but it's fresh and Diamonds is an example of one of those songs. And, you know, for me to have a song called Diamonds, you're thinking, well, why does Common got diamonds? He don't wear diamonds besides maybe this little piece right here. This art, you know, it's, it's, it's a stone. But anyway, um, Diamonds for me, it, it, it talks about shining. You got to shine no matter what. You know, no, no matter what situation, you got to get, get to shining. And I'm talking about shining for the day. Like, not waiting for tomorrow. Not talking about I'm about to go get mine on for no two weeks from now. I'm straight. No, you just got to embody it now. Like I got it. Like that's what Shine and Diamond is. Diamonds is about. And Big Sean came and just brought the energy to the record that like just made it feel like oh this record is something like this is on some newness for real now. Like cause Sean brought a whole his own perspective and made it bounce even more and just. Automatically, you felt like when you hear Sean on the chorus, you feel like, oh, man, this song could be in the club. It could be on the radio, but it's not reaching. You feel like I'm kicking a verse that's like it's an MC verse. Now, I didn't record with Ye for this album. Um, I am looking forward to his album when, that, when, when he gets, you know, when he, whenever he comes, he's coming with that. And um, Yeah, but I didn't get a chance to record with Ye on this one. But, um, you know, I'm hoping to do some music with him sooner than later. Have you guys been in the studio at all? Nah, we ain't been in the studio. I only been hanging, you know, getting to see him in, in, in random places when we just get together and and just been to his wedding. I saw the pictures of you at the wedding actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how was that? That was like that was like uh, a very special wedding in the way that it was like fun. I had been to Italy but never to Florence, Italy. It felt very family oriented, very like simple but beautiful. And it felt like they cared about the guests. Like it wasn't, you know, like they cared about us. Like the things that, that we, the way we were treated was just, it was royal. And it, everything was simple and beautiful. And we had the best time.